Find the relative extrema of f of x equals x plus 4 over x. Solution. So there's a couple ways to find the relative extrema, um, but all of those ways involve taking derivatives. So before we start, let's rewrite this in a nice way so that taking the derivative becomes a little bit easier. Well, x is fine. We can take the derivative of that. Plus, here, when you look at this, you really don't want to use the quotient rule. Instead, just bring the x upstairs so you get 4x to the negative 1. All right, so now let's find the critical numbers. Find cn's, critical numbers. That's the next step. So let's take the derivative and set it equal to 0. So here we have 1. Now you bring this downstairs using the power rule, so minus 4x to the negative 2. We want to set that equal to 0. So this is 1 minus 4 over x squared, and we want to solve this equation. So this here is the first derivative. Now notice the first derivative is undefined at 0. Uh, so 0 could be a critical number, but it's not, because you can't plug it back into the original function, right? 0 is not in the domain. Now that that is out of the way, let's solve this equation. So this is 1 equals 4 over x squared. Multiply by x squared. You get 4. Take the square root. You end up with plus or minus 2. Now you ask the same question as you did with 0. Are plus and minus 2 in the domain of the original function? Can you plug them in here? Yep, you sure can. So these are critical numbers. Let's use the second derivative test. Second derivative test. The second derivative test says you first find your critical numbers and then you plug them into the second derivative. If the second derivative is positive, you have a minimum. If it's negative, you have a maximum. So let's take the second derivative. So f double prime of x. Well, looking here at the first derivative, the derivative of 1 is 0. Here you take the negative 2 and bring it downstairs, so we get 8 x and then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So the second derivative is 8 over x cubed. All we have to do now is plug in our critical numbers. So f double prime of 2. That's going to be 8 over 2 cubed. So 8 over 8, which is 1. So we're going to have a min at x equals 2. And then f double prime of negative 2 that's 8, negative 2 cubed is negative 8. So we're going to have a max at x equals negative 2. We're not done. We still actually have to find the maximums and minimums. So let's write down the original function again. Our original function, the OG function, was f of x equals x plus 4 over x. All right, we know we have a min at x equals 2, so to actually find the minimum value, you, you evaluate f at 2. So you get 2 plus 4 over 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So this is the minimum, 4. And then to find the maximum, we plug in negative 2. So we have negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2. So we get negative 2 minus 2, so negative 4. So this is the maximum, and that's it.